And covering the medical community in Duval County. Mayo Clinic, we know it's one of a kind, and when the nonprofit academic center opened a new Jacksonville campus back in the 1980s, it brought a reputation for quality health care and innovation. Now, some of that innovation and training and treatment is going to be on display at the Players Tournament in just a few weeks. I got a personal preview of the anatomage table and how it solves problems and includes patients. Conrad Dove is the IT specialist in the Simulation Center at Mayo Clinic Jacksonville. He walked me through what the Sim Center offers in training and then had neurosurgeon Alfredo Quinones join us to discuss this device. So this is the anatomage table. It's a virtual dissection table. And what it does, is it allows us to take a thin slice CT or an MRI and create a three-dimensional object. So this is a full three-dimensional rendering of this particular patient. This patient in particular had a free-floating bone chip that pinched an artery when she looked over her shoulder and then she would pass out. Now that's easy to see for the experts and patients with the 3D table. We can actually take and cut this tissue and roll it open and see inside her head as wow. well. No so this case everything was outside but if Dr. Q wanted to look at say an aneurysm we could actually look inside as well and that's where the volume rendering comes in. Dr. Quinones is world famous and known as Dr. Q, renowned for bringing technology and innovation to bear on neurosurgery and cancer research. This table was initially a tool for students, and it still is, but it also bridges a gap to patients. Suddenly, if you are proposing to do a surgical intervention, yep. a patient can then say, ah, I see, so if you go in and take that little piece of bone, my artery is at risk my brain stem is at risk. You will have to remove this piece of bone and that means potentially destabilizing the spine. So, so many things that the patients can suddenly tell. And I think that this is where technology is taking us to the next frontier where the patient becomes a partner with the physician and the institution. So that way their health is put at the top as a priority. We've introduced you to Dr. Q before here on Channel 4. He's the head of neurosurgery at Mayo and Jacksonville, and he leads NIH-funded research to find a cure for brain cancer. And Mayo plans to have the anatomage table that we're showing you there, their virtual dissection table. It'll be at their booth at the Players during the second week of March.